Good evening, everybody. We just, well, well we, the, the video we made the other day was um, at the home where Andy works. So we just do another one from our home where we live and work <laughs> and play. Yeah, and on other, amongst some things. <laughs> it's like play school through the round window. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're just going to bring to you today. Um, a, a little piece from Psalm 116. I was going to do something else, but it just entered my head because I love this psalm, particularly the beginning. It's so powerful. So Annie's just going to read one and two, and then we'll have a quick chat, and then it'll all be over. I love the Lord because he hath heard my voice and my supplications, because he hath inclined his ear unto me. Therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. The first thing here is to note that everything in, in God's plan or in his world, in existence, is always him first. He calls us, we say yes. He chose us, we follow. He goes the pathway first. In fact, something we're looking at the other day, which I might share um, at the home, is in the resurrection, um, he tells Mary that, that tell the disciples, my brethren, to go off to Jerusalem because he's gone before them so the Lord always goes before us and it says here that he loves the Lord I love the Lord because he's heard my voice and my supplication and I've wrote down here supplication is like a Latin comes from a Latin word to beg on one's knees so it's not like oh Lord will you help me blah 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 it's crying out that what, what you have to understand is God deals with the depths of the soul the highs of the mountains, the depths of your soul. And it's all to do with your real intentions in your life. If you really cry out to God, i.e. real tears, real heartbreak, real sadness for your sin, he will hear your cry. And this psalm is saying that he loves the Lord because when he cried out, he heard his cry. No one else does, but God does. Don't you think it's a lovely picture when it says... He hath inclined his ear yeah. unto me. Yeah. So it's almost like so he's, he's, he's leaning in so yeah. that he can hear better yeah. what it is that you, you're trying to tell him. Um, no, and, and, and like, you know, so he's showing that he's, he's really interested yeah. and he really wants to know. There's that painting, isn't there, um, done, it's, it's, I think it's about a, a text in John or it might be in Revelation. Do you know where it says that, like well, no, because John wrote the same, both. But what I mean is, John wrote it, and it's the bit when he's saying he stands at the door and waits. And knocks. Yeah, and whoever opens the door, he'll come in and mm. live with them. And this painting, this famous painting of, 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 of Christ at the door with no handle on it, because the idea is you need to open the door mm. and go through to meet him, you see. And like Andy's saying here, he's saying he is inclined he's here. Um, therefore I will call on him as long as I live now as long as he lives not just in that moment not just in the oh dear you know what is what this psalm is saying is I've now understood how much God loves me how how beautiful his hearing is how tentative his heart is to those that need him and therefore that's his go-to call from now on from as long as he lives he will speak with the Lord. He will go to him in all his, in everything, in his joy, in his, it's, his, you know. It's almost like it's saying, I might, I, I, I spoke to him before, yeah. but now I realise that he actually listens to me. And yeah. not only does he listen and hear what I'm saying, he's, he's actively trying yeah. to, oh, to yeah. get to know what I want to say, what I need yeah. better by by leaning in, by listening carefully. And because I now know that he cares that much about what I have to say, now I will, from now on and forever, yeah. I will come to him with all my needs. And we're not going to go through it because we're just making little videos here, but please go away i mean i can't do no more than ash and beg you i can't do no more than say please go away and read this psalm don't just go away and do it like homework like i used to get lines you just bash through them and then they're done go go and read it with that understanding at the start how much god loves and listens and then read the rest about he saved me he helped me and he, he took my soul and saved it and all that think about 
the deep things in this psalm about what he's really talking about. Because he's not just talking about he heard my cry. He's saying it's, it's the miry pit thing. He pulled me from the pit. I was nothing. I was lost without an ear, without a voice, without a heart, without a love, without being forgiven. I was lost. But God heard my cry and he came to me. So we hope you have a good day or evening. Um, you'll probably get these after Easter. We're actually on Good Friday today. Um, and so we just pray that you have a wonderful time over the holiday and draw nearer to God, draw nearer to him at this time or any time. Every second is the right time to be with the Lord. So do it today. We bless you. We love you. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.